murky skies, and yes, those are eight gorilla statues. My script writes itself today. It really was gorillas in the mist in Torquay. These statues will eventually be placed around Torbay and Exeter, raising awareness of paint and zoo and funds for gorilla conservation. I really think that this, this project has potential to generate a huge amount of interest. Similar projects elsewhere in the country, in Bristol and Liverpool and so on, have been fantastically successful. People really do buy into this. And I think this is the right project at the right time for this, for this region. In Bristol, thousands of people visited the city when they had similar painted statues. And when they were auctioned off, more than £400,000 was raised for conservation projects. It's really, really important, both for the artists in the area to get involved and have their work seen by a mass, mass audience. It's really important for the zoo as well. We can get those conservation messages out there, but also really important for the community of the English Riviera. Our events are a great economic driver, so it's really good on a, on a multiple level, on multiple of levels. This is the only gorilla to have been painted so far by artist Sue Misselbrook. This is Herbert. Um, he's my celebration gorilla. Um, during the course of this year, I was asked to paint one of the gorillas, and I opted for two significant things which happened this year. One which was the weather, um, and then what was chosen was celebration with the Jubilee and the Olympics. And I associated all the individual flags with animals that were associated with gorillas in the wild. Well, height-wise, this is a fair representation of a silverback in this stance, about five foot high. The big difference, though, is its weight. This only weighs about five stone. A real silverback can weigh as much as 32 stone. That is big. This rather surreal scene was all good fun, but the serious side to this is that in reality, it's estimated that of the cross-river species of gorilla found in West Africa, there are only around 300 left in the wild. Funds raised here will hopefully help change that. Gorillas are just magnificent animals, um, very similar to us in many, many ways. Each gorilla has their own personality. Um, I, I personally feel they're my extended family. Well, it wasn't quite a banana boat these visitors sailed off on today, but they made an impression and they will be back. Only next time, they'll be bolder and brighter. Claire Manning in Torquay for the West Country tonight.